What movie is a tin can? It depends. Further only approximately. By Influenced Citizen Kane, Ben-Hur. By Quality 12 Angry Men, Lawrence of Arabia. By Understandability Forrest Gump, The Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile. But it's difficult to call the above, and the rest, truly tin tin, rather an approach to something greater in the future like the best movie by Complexity The Godfather, Once Upon a Time in America, Aliens. Now hear me out, I know that Alien is a great film, one of the all-time greats, but Aliens just takes it all to another level. The aesthetic for the colonial marines and their hardware, the backdrop of this vast industrial location and the combination of action, special effects, memorable characters and a really quotable script lifted for me. Aliens is just fun from start to finish. 12 Angry Men Every time I watch it, I find new details to admire. Edit the 1957 version and be sure to check out 12 Angry Men Analysis by Eusterbrook. Tommy Boy. Solid comedy, solid storyline following. Solid acting by some great actors. First movie that made me laugh my ass off and cry my heart out within 20 minutes of each other. The same reasoning can be given to plane trains and automobiles being a tin tin as well. Samurai Cop is the perfect so bad it's good film you'll ever see so a tin tin for a tin tin. Fight Club, Die Hard, Terminal, Jurassic Park, and Back to the Future are all tin tin excellent movies. The original Back to the Future. Original idea to start with. Flawless screenplay where everything happens for a reason, entire last half hour full of payoffs. 12 Angry Men Every time I watch it, I find new details to admire. Edit the 1957 version and be sure to check out 12 Angry Men Analysis by Eusterbrook. Desperado. An action farce. Perfection. If I want a movie on in the background, it can't be this one, because I will stop whatever I'm doing and watch it. Spider-Man No Way Home. It's a perfect blend of fan service and actual content. The only flaw with it is that it's not an 8-hour movie. The first Harry Potter. I'm not even a fan, but the world and atmosphere that's immediately created in that first film is incredible. Hot Fuzz is one of those for me. Literally every line of dialogue for the first 2-3 of the movie ends up being relevant. Magnolia. There are many here that I agree with, but I have not seen this one yet. Very underappreciated in my opinion. Lord of the Rings, The Godfather. Super Bad, Silence of the Lambs, and The Shining are the top ones that come to mind. Everyone goes with the classics, Godfather, Shawshank and so on. So I will say Austin Powers Goldfinger. Adaptation. I can't believe I'm saying this about a movie with Nicolas Cage playing identical twins. 1956 Ten Commandments Hobbit Trilogy Lord of the Rings Trilogy Ben Her Transformers Trilogy Avatar. For Drama Children of Men. For Comedy Hot Rod. For both everything everywhere all at once. City of God. I can't really explain why because I haven't studied films and stuff. The Big Lebowski. Entertaining, funny, and a plot that keeps you coming back for more. Memento 2000. Originality of the storytelling, and the acting. You can't look away. The English Patient in LA Confidential. Most of my other tins are already listed. Chariots of Fire is incredible. Edited to add Dead Poets Society. That's also a must. Dr. Strangelove. Serious subject, extremely funny, looks incredible. Truly iconic. Blazing Saddles. Funniest comedy of all time, and the anachronisms are hysterical. I just watched Say 7 and for the first time and that movie was for sure a tin tin. Super subjective but for me. 12 Angry Men and Princess Bride are only ones. Also Marge Gunderson is one of my favorite movie characters of all time. No Country for Old Men. Not my favorite movie, but it's just perfect. The Big Lebowski, Dazed and Confused, Taxi Driver, and Glorious Bastards. I'm waiting for someone to say 10. Not because it was of course. The Handmaiden, Parasite, Your Name, Perfect Blue and Helter Skelter. Detroit Rock City. SLC Punk. Hereditary. The Witch. Midsummer. One great film I don't see mentioned yet was Slumdog Millionaire. Coraline. I rewatch it multiple times every October September. Call me weird but. Ready Player One. It's a gamer's fantasy. Let the right one in Swedish version with theatrical subs. I loved Best Offer. Also you can't beat Spinal Tap. Ever. Kung Fury. It has something for the whole family to enjoy. Kung Fu is so gloriously stupid in all the right ways. A dog's purpose. Only movie which has made me cry. Das Boot. Godfather. The Big Sleep. Airplane. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. All of them are 10-10. Back to the Future. It's fun every time I watch it, 